Okay, we have here today another integral from the UNSW integration bead. This one is from 2022. This was extra problem number three. We have the integral of natural log of one plus the square root of x dx. Okay, now pretty much whenever I see an integral that's just natural log and we've got nothing else to work with, I think I want to do integration by parts here. What I'll do is treat it like this was just ln of x and the typical way to integrate that is with integration by parts. So I'm going to set up the di method of integration or tabular integration. And we only have one function, so we'll differentiate our natural log of 1 plus square root of x. And we'll just kind of create a 1 right here in order to integrate that 1. So integrating 1, I'm just going to get x over here. And then differentiating, this is a little bit tricky, so we're going to have 1 over 1 plus square root of x. Then we need the chain rule. When we differentiate this, we're going to get 1 half. And then the numerator, we're going to have an x to the minus 1 half here. So we're gonna have part of our solution right here, so we'll just write that down. We're gonna have x ln one plus square root of x. And then here, this whole part here is gonna be an integral. Pen's kind of drying up. And so for this integral here, we'll have our one half out front. And then what I'll do is gonna multiply this x minus a half times just x, and that's gonna give me a square root of x in the numerator. And then the denominator will just have this one plus square root of x dx. And I think I'm gonna replace this pen. And then from here, we'll just focus on this integral. And there's a few ways we could do it. There's a few good ways to do this integral. What I'm gonna do though, is we're just gonna make a u substitution for u equal to square root of x. And then with that, I can find my value for x is gonna be x equals u squared. I'll take a derivative and get my dx is gonna be two u du. And then we've got what we need to do this substitution. So we'll still have our minus one half up front. Our square root of x in the numerator is just gonna be a u. dx, we're gonna have our 2u du, and then we're just going to have 1 plus u in the denominator. Now I'll take a 2 and cancel it with the 1 half. That's pretty nice. And then we're just going to have u squared in the numerator here. So let me just rewrite this. I'm going to bring this minus into the, I'm going to multiply this minus 1 in just so we need to clean this up. So what we're going to be looking at is we'll have minus u squared, 1 plus u here, du. And of course we could do long division or something, but just to simplify this, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a 1 right here but then I need to subtract a one, so I'm not changing it. But if we do that, let's take this minus one and we'll make that a separate integral. So over here, we'll be subtracting just du over one plus u. We'll get rid of this. And the reason I did this here is because what I wanna do is I wanna factor this as one plus u times one minus u in order to get some cancellations. So let me just rewrite this and we'll finish it off. Okay, so now at this point, you can see we have the cancellation that we need right here. So I'm gonna cancel this with this, which is gonna give me just one minus u power rule. And then we have this, which is going to be easy as well. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and integrate here. So we're integrating 1, and that's going to give me a u. Integrating a minus u, it's going to be minus u squared over 2. And then here, this is going to be just natural log, absolute value, 1 plus u. And now we're just going to need to back substitute. What I'm going to do is take this, what we have here, and what I want to do is plug it back in where we had it, because we have to finish this with our, we don't want to forget this part of our solution. And now from here, this part of our answer is all set, but for everything over here, we're gonna to need to back substitute with our values that we already found from the previous board. So let's just rewrite this whole thing. So we have our value of u, which is just the square root of x. Then u squared is actually gonna be x with this second value here. So I'm gonna write this as minus x over two. And then here we're gonna have just minus natural log of one plus square root of x. And then because this is always positive, I'm just gonna drop my absolute value on this now. And then one other thing for our final solution is I'm just going to combine these natural log terms. And so I'm going to write this as x minus 1, natural log 1 plus square root of x, plus square root of x minus x over 2 plus c, and that's it. Okay, pretty straightforward, but still a pretty good problem. So I'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching today. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.